Have you seen Miranda? This is this is a collection of your seeds. Can you introduce us to your seeds and your passion of uh, making seeds available? These seeds are basically uh, most of them are organic seeds. Yeah. So some local farmers, local people, local. So growing growing the fruits and vegetables organically. So when did you get into this idea and why? About uh, three years back when I saw when people are scavenging for food during COVID time. Yeah. You know, I used to distribute the brown rice, the sweet potatoes. With Nestor. No, I was doing it alone. Alone. Nobody was willing to come out. People were scared. I see. Even Nestor was scared to come out. So I was doing it alone with another friend of mine who was driving me in his car. Nestor lost his brother and things like that. No, 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 no. He was sick. He was really serious. Yeah, he was seriously sick. Yeah. So he was. So people people were really scared. scared. People yeah. were scared. So I didn't fear. I went around giving food. Oh, the brown rice. I uh, see. Cajun nuts, uh, sweet potatoes, yeah, all sort of uh, food, uh, local grown food stuff. Yeah, and uh, people will just and we had to ration it. We were rationing. Yeah, two kilos per head. I see because the quantities were not available. Yeah, because of the queues, you know, Saligaon there were over 100 people in a queue. Yeah. I mean, they, they came with Mercedes car. They had a Mercedes car, yeah. but they had no food. Maybe we should go a bit away from this just because of the noise. Ah, they came in a Mercedes car, but they had no food. You're saying? Yeah. So they had the money, but they didn't have the food. Because so so at that point, at that point, the issue of food security struck you. Yeah. I mean, we realized that Goa has become highly insecure in food. It always has been, not to lesser or greater degree. Yeah, Goa since the time. Goans have been starting migrating for jobs to Middle East and uh, UK and yeah. other European countries. Probably even before that, Avit, so you know, labor, because the economy was agrarian agri economy. A, even before that, 17th, 16th century, when that was not much. The yeah. migration was not much. It was mostly Bombay and back. But uh, agrarian economy remained agrarian. But once the London Portuguese passport started, yeah. there was a major shift. Massive shift. So you felt the need for seeds? Why? Yeah, because people were scavenging for food. Yeah. People were living on shops selling biscuits and chips. You know, they would grab. Even we had to ration rice, brown rice at five kg per person for five families. So seeds hold the key. No, I realized. No, that time we did. I had no idea of seeds. Yeah. But I realized that the food comes from the seeds. Yeah. The plants, the trees, the, the fruits bearing trees, the vegetables, they come from the seeds. So I have started focusing on the seeds. Goa is a fertile place. Yes, we can make even the infertile place can be made fertile. There, there is no problem. There is a way out. Which are your most popular seeds? Uh, people are buying uh, radish, then okra, salt chiranji bande, seven rich, seven rich uh, uh, lady, uh, cherry tomatoes. Yeah. Uh, I have over almost hundred variety of seeds. Hundred varieties. Yeah. I started with some. 15-20 varieties and now the range has gone to 100. So wow. it has been a huge risk because thanks to the people who are coming forward and giving me the seeds. So it, and I have deliberately marked the prices very low so it is affordable at 20 and 30 rupees. There is an incentive to buy. Yeah, it's a, it's a tiny packs, just not for commercial farming, it's yeah. basically focused on your home gardens. Home gardens, uh, your pots, uh, growing vegetables in pots. You can grow on a terrace garden, backyards, you know. Grow your own vegetable. At least grow your own salads. So all you mentioned are easy, easy to grow. Very easy. And see, with the internet and technology, yeah, people go on YouTube and learn how to grow. You watch three, four videos of growth, and you get uh, inspiration. And uh, I am myself learning. You know, from people who buy seeds from me, they tell me how the success has come, or how the failure has happened, and then they try two times, three times. But so there are various factors. Sometimes the insects attack the seeds. Yeah. Sometimes birds eat the seeds. Sometimes yeah. red eats the seeds. You know, there are a lot of factors. See, we always put a caution, disclaimer that in case that the responsibility of looking at the seeds and taking care of them till they grow is of the one who purchases and grows them. What's your most memorable story of feedback you've received? When you see the... Any particular one? Uh, I mean, a lady from a divar sent me a photograph of a pot filled up with a radish, you know. Really? Yeah. In a pot? Yeah, in a pot. It was so much filled up. And it looks so beautiful, white yeah. and green. You know, yeah. it was lovely to see the success. I see. You know, 
But when there are there are failures, I have been giving them free seats. You know, I replace. I see. Because it's not about money. The seats are yeah. not the the purpose of selling seats is we are selling at a loss. I'm, I mean, there's no profit in this. You're planting an idea. Selling at twenty and thirty rupees. Yeah, is not there's viable. nothing. There's nothing. Then lot of work I, I and lot of count my labor. You know, the yeah. cost of labor and. A lot of time and labeling yeah. and packing. And it's, it's a tedious a, job. It's a very tedious job, but it's a very you know if you have passion for it and you know what's the bigger aim is to, to grow your own food. The main message is grow your own food. You and were a salads. you were a business journalist in the past. Yes, yes. And environment is your passion. Environment, since we are fighting uh, environmental issues on various fronts, uh, illegal filling of the fields, agriculture fields. We have got orders also to this effect by the High Court at Goa. We have taken three villages. There's an order. There's an order from the High Court saying what? That all the illegal structures in the fields, low lying, the agriculture lands, yeah, should be removed. This is when? When did the order come? Last year. Twenty two. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And we are waiting for implementation. The problem is getting the orders one thing and getting it implemented. Because there are powerful forces, land mafia. There's no political will. Yeah. There's no political will. There's uh, no bureaucratic will. I mean, there's no. I mean, they think this is destruction of fields is development. That is what we are. We think, but in the long run, we not. What happened during COVID time? We had no food to eat. Yeah. You know. So, uh, so people in India were dying. More people died because of food. Yeah. Than COVID. So the lack of food caused a lot of. Yeah. You had a Mercedes class guy coming. He has no food. He's got money. You can't eat money. True. <laughs> you can't eat a Mercedes car. But here we were. There was huge in selling a huge lineup. Over 120, 30 people I see. lining up, really? yeah, for the brown rice. This is in uh, 2020, early March, April, May. Yeah, May, April, May. April, May. Uh, huge queues. We were rationing five kgs rice per family. First, I said for by head. Then every member of the family was coming. Okay. So we had to say that family per family. You also founded, co-founded the Green Brigades, Goa Green, Green Brigades. Goa Green Brigade, yeah. That's a WhatsApp group. WhatsApp and also environmental group. We take up issues. Focused on. Uh, environmental issues, cutting of trees. Cutting of trees. We get lot of complaints. We handle cutting of trees, uh, forest cutting, hill cutting, mangroves cutting, sand dunes cutting, all sort of environmental issues. Illegal harvesting of water. Yeah. Just show us the seeds, Avitin, if you don't mind. Since. Uh... There's a small locally packed one. Yeah, then this is mashed melon. So you you source it from local farmers? Yes. This is Thai basil. Thai basil from Thailand. But now adopted here locally. Because most of the trees are not local. Yeah. yeah. Average price is twenty thirty yeah. for the local yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. And you got a wide variety of. Uh, yeah, we have got over forty oh. variety of local seeds. Oh. Lo- locally, lo- local seeds. Yeah, these, yep. are, these are all local seeds, organic seeds. Yeah. And these are the exotic seeds. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but these are organic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And very, they are giving it less than the cost price. Yeah. Because it's a it's a very tough job to to pay. I can know, imagine to source the seeds. Yeah. To ensure they are healthy seeds. Yeah. You know, to segregate them. Just to pack, pack them, pack, pack them, them, and all that. Yeah, show me the exotic. Show me the exotic. Just the range. I saw the range. I was very impressed. These are the exotic seeds: purple yeah. cauliflower, purple cauliflower, Chinese cabbage. I see. Any any reports of working not White working? Brinjal. Working not working in Goa? See, there are certain uh, micro greens may not work. The okay. Foreign foreign micro greens. These are foreign seeds. Yeah. But we have the mint and other things which are working here. Mint is working. Yeah, because this is the best time to grow mint. Yeah, the greens, no micro greens. Yeah. This is the time to grow micro greens because of cool weather. After April May, you won't be, in April May you won't be able to grow them because the heat is too much. Unless you grow them. These are sourced from Delhi. These are imported. Imported. But repackaged, repackaged in Delhi or somewhere in India. Yeah, yeah. They are not packaged here. Yeah. I just brought them because. Uh, It's nice to see the variety also. Because people, you know, the labeling and the packing looks very colorful. Very colorful. People get attracted to it. That's true. So totally. if you see, we have uh, cherry tomatoes. I'll I'll just show you. Yeah, just show me the range. You can see that this uh, lemon grass. Lemon grass. This is very popular in Goa. Lemon grass. You make tea of it, no? Radish. Yeah, tea. 
Uh, these are the reddish, red reddish, yeah. White reddish, yeah. Then you have lettuce, yeah. Then you have a capsicum, hybrid brinjal, capsicum, capsicum. Ah, yes, Angelo. And he is my main uh, supplier from of Kalangos. No, 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 originally from Kalangos. Very good product. Uh,